Hello and welcome to Take Time, I'm your host Patrick Marlatt. Today we take a look at a watch named after the largest bird in North America, the condor. It's no coincidence that this piece, much like its namesake, is large. But what could be more appropriate for Pontus Watch Company's first pilot watch, the Foundria Naval Condor? And I'm sure I've mispronounced one or two of those words, but before I begin the video today, I'd like to let you all know that this piece was gifted to the channel. So a special thanks goes out to Juan and the team for sending this my way. And equipped with that knowledge, you can take any of my opinions however you choose. Now, as I do with all my videos here on the channel, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. So without further ado, let's talk Condor. The Condor case and crown is made of CUSN8 German bronze material with a CUSN6 buckle, so if they appear different on camera, that's because they are. Up top we have a single domed sapphire crystal with AR coating with an overall design providing 200 meters of water resistance. Though you may think twice about taking the oiled leather strap it comes equipped with in water. At its heart the Condor features a Seiko NH35A and is loomed out with C3 loom. I love onions, and I love well-made crowns, but large bronze onion crowns are a no-go for me. As you can tell from a few days of use, I've picked up a touch of the green skin. Unfortunately, this is a natural reaction that happens when our skin comes in contact with bronze material for a prolonged period of time, such as having a watch strapped to your wrist. Is it the end of the world? No. Is it a nuisance? Yes. Very. This is actually the first time I've had this issue with a bronze watch. Doubtful the last, but perhaps a smaller crown or this exact one positioned higher on the case would alleviate some of this ongoing contact. These proposed changes have their own inherent problems as well, but there's a balancing act here that could have helped avoid this issue. One look at the Condor's dial and you can immediately tell its influence, Zenith. Do you say Zenith or Zenith? I say Zenith. Zenith is in its DNA, that is very obvious. However, when you look at the case, the case is anything but Zenith. Perhaps this was to avoid too much similarity, but in truth, I find this case bland. It's too akin to a plethora of generic brand cases. I would prefer this design and lovely bronze material be tailored to more closely match the Zenith, or inversely made into something totally original, more akin to the buckle, which we'll get into later. The fume dial is more than enough to distinguish the Foundry and Naval from its influence, making for a lovely homage, but the case is rather uninspiring. It's funny, I was shocked by how many folks thought I had a Zenith on my wrist. It's clearly a match, but not an exact one, and some folks may like that. On to the good notes. I thought I'd hate the scale. Turns out, 51 millimeters from lug to lug is actually the perfect squeeze for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Now, historically speaking, Fliegers were massive watches. So at 44 millimeters in width, we have a reasonably scaled modern pilot watch. The bronze cathedral hands, striking applied numerals, and fume coloration lend to a handsome, zenith-infused Flieger design that's hard not to like. It strikes a bold impression that immediately makes you feel like an absolute boss. Seconded only by the boldness of that dial is the custom bronze buckle you'll receive with every watch. Large and spear-like in appearance, the buckle, at least on my wrist, hasn't greened me, nor dug in to cause irritation. It is the perfect blend of style and comfort that I wish the case shared more of. I will state, these two in tandem create a lovely harmony with one another, but when it comes to homages, I always appreciate a bit more. Something to help the watch stand on its own, and this buckle holds that Condor DNA. Oh, lastly, the loom. It's fine here. Nice and bright when out of direct sunlight, but doesn't hold a strong amount of luminance for long. For most of us, it'll be more than adequate. Mmm, and that padded leather strap, that buckle is on amazing. There's a short break-in period, but it's pure comfort afterwards. Now, there are three dial versions of the Condor, and today we're taking in the blue, and here's what it'll look like for all of your admirers on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. And when you are going to admire it, it's gonna look a little something like this.
I am looking forward to see how the Condor continues to age. That is part of the joy of owning a bronze case, something that Pontus and Fonderia clearly care about. If you're looking for an affordable, solid bronze flieger with that zenith flair, look no further. The Condor has landed. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.